wish to hear a tale, do you? A tale of the gods of Atoll? Sure, there is Loomis of Light, Chombro of Chaos, and Akarath, god of shadow, who rule in turn over the heavens. But a host of other deities serve under them. These are their tales. This is Dungeon Master Pantheon. When heroes die, their souls are taken by Akarath, god of shadow. But there is another god who takes souls for his own, Ral, the god of war. In the far frozen north of Atoll, the Vikings believe that, should they die bravely in battle, a Valkyrie will send their soul to become a warrior of Ral, to feast in his hall and fight by his side. One day, the Vikings raided White Tree, a seaside village on the inland coast. They stole the town's treasures, set fire to the ships docked in the harbor, and sailed north with their spoils. But the Earl of White Tree hired a team of six adventurers to journey in pursuit of the Vikings and return what was stolen. Led by Lingvi, an old blind former Viking himself, the team of adventurers included the warrior Meatbrick, Wisp, the Grim Fairy, Flax Hee-Haw the Bumpkin, the Reverend Magnus El Minister, Danny the Druid, and Charlie, a lovable panda bear. Yngvi led the party through frozen tundras to the peak of Grapu Mountain. Climbing the mountain was arduous, and Reverend Magnus nearly fell to his death, saved at the last second by Flax Hee-Haw atop the mountain. The six heroes found a woman trapped in a ring of fire. They freed her to discover she was Regenleaf, greatest of the Valkyries. But no sooner was she freed than Lingvi attacked the party, swinging his axe blindly until being slain by the bewildered Flax Hee Haw. The Valkyrie sent Lingvi's soul to Ral which was his plan all along. The party was left without a guide, but the Valkyrie Regenleaf, in her gratitude for being freed, agreed to take the party north to the Viking settlement. Meanwhile, the evil dark elf Valimar was approached by a mysterious figure. Zanfriel, demigod of confusion. Zanfriel told Valimar about the Orb of Power and informed Valimar of a secret, that Valimar was indeed a demigod, the son of Akarath, god of shadow. When the party arrived at the Hall of the Vikings, their king challenged them to Honganga, a duel against his greatest warrior. Eatbrick slew the warrior, but was mortally wounded. And the Valkyrie Regenleaf sent both their souls to Ral. Impressed, the Viking King made them a deal. He would return all plundered items if the party would slay Tiki, King of the Frost Giants. Reluctantly, the party undertook the quest. They ventured on through a blizzard until they found an old dwarf who could help them forge magic necklaces that would make them grow to the size of giants. With these necklaces, the party burst into Brotherfjord, fortress of the frost giants. An epic battle ensued, sending shockwaves across all of Vorland. But in the end, the frost giants were slain. Three parties. Flax, Reverend Magnus, and Wisp failed to find the day. And so ends my tale of Ral, God of War. To see more tales of the heroes and gods of Atoll, visit Dungeon Master every other Sunday at the Vortex Theater in Los Angeles.